Okay, this next exercise involves quilting with your embroidery machine. So a lot of times you can, uh, you want to quilt and you're not really good at stippling or you want to stipple around a design area and you're not, you're not comfortable with doing it free motion on your own. You've got stippling built into your IQ Designer and My Design Center in order to create perfect quilting. Now if you are hooping for a quilt, hooping a quilt, you do not need to use stabilizer, just simply quilt, hoop your quilt sandwich. So, uh, but for this I'm going to select my design center because say I want to put stippling into those light blue blocks. And I don't know how, say I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to select my IQ designer or my design center and I'm going to scan in which is something I'm going to scan from a regular hoop. So this is what I use to scan in from a regular hoop. And now it is simply scanning in your fabric in whatever hoop you use. I've just basted this, this square in here. But you do not need stabilizer. This is just a practice piece. As you can see right here, we've got that piece in the machine. Let's see, I wonder if this will make it darker. Oop, that's lighter. The other way. I want it a little darker so I could see it. Okay, so that made it darker. I'm going to draw. So I'm going to use my drawing tool. So I'm going to select a point to point. I don't want it to stitch. I don't want a, an outline around it, and I'm going to make it uh, black just so that I can see it really well. So now I'm going to draw, so I've select my drawing tool, and I'm going to just take my points and go one, and then I'm going to fill it in with some stippling, and I think I had stippling already. I want stippling, and I'll go ahead and use red so you can see it. I notice now I have stippling everywhere. That means I've got a break somewhere. So undo. This bigger, bigger, and come up here. There's the break in the line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw another line. This time I'm going to do a regular line. And I'm just going to draw from one to the other doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now, I'll make this smaller so we can see the whole thing. Let's go bigger. Now I'm going to put in that stippling. There we go. There's the stippling in that box. I'm like, okay. It's not perfect because it sort of has this imaginary grid, but I can fix this. And I'm going to hit OK because those two blocks are the same. Now I'm going to go to sewing. I'll leave that the same. OK. Now we have, now that's my little block. So I'm going to hit set. OK. OK, I'm going to scan in. Now this is on my design area now, and so I'm going to scan in the fabric again. Okay. <laughs> now you can see over here, doesn't quite fit, does it? So what I'm going to do is select it, go to edit, and I'm going to size this and make it bigger, a little taller, not too tall. Maybe move it up a little bit. 
going to make it wider. Move it over. A little wider. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK. Going to duplicate it, move one over here, maybe make this a little bit wider. Oh, that's as wide as I can get it, so let me scoot it over a little bit. Okay, let's try to get this in the middle here. stitch it out. So I'm going to go to embroidery. Okay, now we've gone to embroidery and I'm simply going to stitch it out. Lower my presser foot. It should put that stippling right where it belongs. Oh. Now with stippling a lot of tar with embroidery on, uh, with quilting on your embroidery machine, what you'll notice will happen is that it's going to still leave the knots on the back. And I want to show you how I'm going to end this so that it doesn't leave the knots on the back. And what you do is you let it stitch until you hear it begin to stitch out that, uh, the locking stitch in the back. I'm getting ready to hit it with the button as soon as I hear it slow down. There. Okay, so now as it slows down, I'm going to raise, pull, raise the presser foot, pull the thread, one needle down, needle up, and I want to pull that thread, that bobbin thread up. So I'll grab, grab this, and here comes my bobbin thread. There's the bobbin thread. I can bring it to the top and then cut it. Get a scissor. See here, I can take my scissor. And clip the thread so that I leave a tail. Okay. Now I'm going to let it, I'm going to advance it so that it goes to the other. Okay, now it goes to the other side. I don't want that knot again. So I'm going to grab this needle thread, go needle down, needle up. I want to pull my bobbin thread up. I have both threads in my hand. Lower my presser foot and let it stitch. Let me sweep this thread away. Actually, I can clip this there. Okay, again, it has come to the end of the stitching. I'm going to raise the presser foot, raise the needle, sweep the thread, take one stitch, needle down, needle up, then I'm going to grab this thread, pull that bobbin thread up, and now I can clip all of them. Now I cl clip all of them, and they look lovely. Okay, there you have it. So this is how you can actually do quilting on your embroidery machine. If you have any questions, give us a call at Attic Treasures in Occoquan, Virginia 
at 703-490-1536. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this month's edition of Embroidery Club. <laughs>